This is a brief presentation on embedding JReport within a Java backend environment. You can also embed JReport reports and dashboards in a web application front-end user interface or UI. This is covered under another video called Embedding Reports and Dashboards. This is the JReport Server Live web application in which the user will log into this application. After successfully logging in, the user can navigate, then click on a specific report they have permission to. The report will be rendered within the client's browser using only HTML5 and JavaScript. A Java Enterprise Edition web application can consist of both front-end and back-end Java code. A Java application server, such as Apache Tomcat, JBoss, IBM WebSphere, and such, and a data repository, which may include a relational database management system, Java objects, XML, web services, and more. An example of a Java Enterprise Edition web application. End users log into the application, but they are not logging in separately into the JReport server. This illustrates how JReport is integrated or embedded with your Java backend via the JReport API. This allows you to call any of JReport's functionality, such as single sign-on. The following code samples provide a way for JReport to interact with your existing backend Java application. There is a large assortment of code samples to assist you in implementing your Java backend environment with JReport Server. After installing JReport Server, find the install directory, in this case the C drive, JReport, Server, Help, Samples. There are multiple folders with code samples to differentiate the product features. A code sample illustrating single sign-on can be found in the API Security Single Sign-On folder, the file name Custom HTTP External Authorized.java. A brief review of this sample code. The class implements the interface HTTP External Authorized. The method get external authorized user gets called by the method check login. This is the first step at identifying if an authenticated user has logged into the web session. The method check login is used by all JReport slash JSP files before they run in order to verify that a JReport user has logged into the session. For API documentation in any browser, visit the company website at ginfonet.com forward slash kbase for the knowledge base archive. In the bottom section, JReport Server Live, Javadoc, HTML link will provide all the API information required. For the sample code, the API documentation provides the necessary information such as the interface HTTP external authorized and the method get external authorized user. A popular feature is setting up a scheduled task programmatically. A code sample illustrating how to set up a scheduled task can be found in the API server folder in the file API demo publish rpt.java. A brief review of this class API demo publish rpt which is used to create a scheduled task. This code creates an instance of the JReport server. JReport constants are used to set properties, including the catalog name, the report name, the output format such as PDF, HTML, XML, the output file name, whether or not you will publish to version control. Lastly, setting up email, executing the task either immediately or periodically, outputting the results to the console, shutting down the server, in order to verify the scheduled task completed successfully, log into JReport Server Live. Under My Tasks, there are tabs for Schedule Tasks, Running Tasks, in this case a completed task called Coffee Sales in which the purpose was to publish to the versioning system and the result was this scheduled task was successful. To learn how to embed JReport into your environment, contact us at learn at ginfonet.com or visit us at www.ginfonet.com.